Hi, I'm Bill Claproth, and this is Dave Claproth, and we're with the Hypnotherapy Solution, Claproth Hypnotherapy. <clears throat> and what we decided we would kind of go over with everyone today is what to look for in a hypnotherapist. Mm. So, Dave, what would you okay. what would you look for? Boy, well, it, uh, so first of all, there's a lot of people that are really, really good at doing this. Um, one of the things that I looked for before I became a hypnotherapist is someone that had experience, someone that had the hours of training. Um, you know, not that somebody that hasn't done it a bunch or that hasn't had much training isn't good at it. But I think if you go to a more recognized program, you know, something 500 hours or more, mm -hmm. uh, like HMI, the place we went to, it's a 720 hour program uh, for the hypnotherapy portion. And of that 720 hours, we've got over a hundred hours of practical training with clients. And we have instructor observations and we work with the instructors and the director of the program. Um, you wanna look for somebody that looks like they've got their stuff together. You know, they have a website that looks mm -hmm. well and professional. Um, somebody that, that belongs to a, a recognized organization, whether that be the uh, Hypnotherapist Union, uh, 472, uh, the American Hypnosis Association, the International Hypnosis Association. Uh, there, there's several of them out there. International, uh, the, the Hypnotist Guild. Mm -hmm. there, there's several. And just make sure that uh, whoever you're dealing with, it, that uh, they have some training behind them. And there's nothing wrong with uh, asking what they specialize in or asking to see if, if uh, see their certificates, or um, I think on our page that we have our we have our stuff listed on what we've trained in, and what we specialize in. Um, you know, we we got smoking, pain, uh, pain management, uh, stress and anxiety, loss of loved ones, weight loss, are, are some of the big ones. Confidence is another big one that we deal with. So. And, let me ask you this, how important is it for a hypnotherapist to be able to go and speak with other professionals in this, in this profession? And if they have questions or if they want to, to keep up with, with different aspects or different, different areas that they may not, they may not have ever worked in before, how, how important is it to be able to have that available to the to the hypnotherapist you know i i think that's very important um it, it just reinforces the fact that your hypnotherapist is staying up up to date on on different techniques and and things that's going on in the industry mm -hmm. um you know we're we're part of the uh we're working we're actually part of the degree program here at hmi and we're working on our, our mind body psychology degree right now and one thing that's enabled that you and I both to do mm -hmm. is communicate more effectively with, with the medical professionals. Yes. We, we communicate on the same page and it makes a lot more sense. So I, that's another thing that you should look for is, you know, what kind of, what kind of rapport does your hypnotherapist have with others in the community? I think that's really, really important. Yeah. And, and, and like, and like for us, <clears throat> we can go back and we can actually have conferences yeah. with people that have been in the industry for years. So it's not just me getting into a rut and saying, okay, this is how I'm going to do it. We can actually, even, even here at Clap, Claproth Hypnotherapy, we have our little round, round table sessions where we discuss, you know, what would be the best way to, to if we have someone come in with this presenting issue, what would be the best way to to approach that? Right, right. You know, and I, I think that's very, very important. Now, please keep in mind, we're, we're not, uh, you're, you're, it's confidential. All your information is confidential. Yes. And we're not throwing around names, but 
occasionally, and I think this is completely fine, especially within our group with you and I, we, it, uh, sometimes it brings a little different perspective on how to, on how to approach an issue that somebody may be dealing with. So uh, another thing is that, and I know that you are part of this as well, we're part of a, a group of hypnotherapists where we have uh, case conferences. Mm -hmm. And we, we go and we get ideas from people um, about what, different ways to approach therapy. And I think that's also very, very important. I agree with you on that. <clears throat> so as far as schools go, mm -hmm. having, ha having and going through a school where it takes, it takes more, it takes a year of fairly intense training. How, how important and how much of an impact has that made on you as opposed to what you believe going to through a weekend course to be a hip, hypnotist? Oh gosh, uh, the, the amount of confidence I have because we are trained to handle just about anything that falls within the realm of what we do within our scope of work. And that we practice that. And we have mentors that have walked us through working with our internship and working with us during our internship. And it's, we have lots of practical experience. And I think that's, I think that's a really, really important thing. It's, it's just like, it's just like your family doctor. You don't want somebody that, oh, I just, I just graduated yesterday. What can I do? <laughs> right. You want somebody that's got a little more seasoning behind them. Yeah. And that's what we bring to the table here. And, and you, you brought up something in your response there that, that is very interesting that, uh, very few places have this, and that's the internship. Yeah. Yeah. Now the, the in yeah our internship was uh, about six months, and you're required to work with a specific number of clients. But and this is this is under clinical supervision. Um, you, you've got a mentor, and you've got your clinic, and they're uh, they're watching what's going on, and they're helping you, giving you pointers. Um, and pointing you in the right direction how, and helping you any, helping you overcome any obstacles you feel like you may be coming across. Right. So, so in other words, we're not, our learning curve is not taking place unsupervised on right. our clients. Right. Exactly. Our clients aren't our guinea pigs. They're our clients and we're there to help them. Yes. And what we provide to them is very, very effective. It, you know, I'm not saying that somebody that doesn't go through a shorter course may not know how to do hypnotist, be a hypnotist. I'm sure they do. Mm -hmm. But being a hypnotherapist involves a little bit more than that. There's more involved with it. Yes. So, um, you know, it's important that whoever you work with, whether that be us or someone else, that you're comfortable with what they're providing and that you're comfortable with their training and what they bring to the table. You don't want to work with somebody that can't help you. Right. So be, being getting done what you need is the ultimate goal. And, and that's what we do. We're really good at what we do. And we have a very high success rate helping people. Right. 90, right. We're, we're in the high 90s for people being completely resolved with whatever their issues are. That's correct. And... <clears throat> With our training, it's, it doesn't, our training didn't just stop. Mm, it's ongoing. It's our, ongoing. our training is ongoing. Yeah. And we have been certified, not just as we, we didn't just go take a little course that, you know, over the course of a few days, you listen to a few videos and all of a sudden you're, you're a hypnotist. Yeah. We had to go through the it took us over a month just to learn the basics. And, and these were working with, with instructors and working with other people. It took us over a month for the, just to, to work on the, the basic foundation of, hypno, yeah. of being a hypnotist. You know, our program is a two-year program. Mm -hmm. And the first year is hypnotherapy. And there's a lot, a lot of work. I've, I, I think... 
I, I, I know that we're both well over a thousand hours yes. of training time. And a lot of people can't say that. Yeah, I, I, would, I would say we came out with more training hours than a lot of hypnotists have after practical experience and training and everything yeah. else after a year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's been very it's been a very 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 good program. I'm I'm really happy that we went through it. Yes, and I I can't say enough about HMI for anybody that may be interested in becoming a hypnotherapist and learning the trade. HMI is the place to go do it. Yes, um, I've heard people say it's the it's it's the Harvard of hypnotherapy, and there's a lot of work. It's not easy. It took a lot of work. And I've got a diploma hanging on my wall that says, you know what? This guy did it. Yeah. And I graduated with honor. So, and so Dave, yeah. if you was going to go see a doctor, mm -hmm. like you had, uh, you had some health issues a while back. Okay. So would you want to go to the doctor that graduated from the local community college? Or would you want to go to the, to the doctor that graduated from Harvard medical? <laughs> Of course, Harvard Medical, but not to knock the guy that graduated from the community college. I, I I think it's the practical experience that they're getting overall in the end. Yes, and I think you're going to get a little better experience with that practical part of it at the at the higher level than than you would at the lower level. So, not that you can't go take a a, a weekend course and become a hypnotist. You can, but I can tell you one thing: you'll never be good at it without experience. That's got to practice it so and let's, that's one so thing that we've done look for certifications look for any diplomas they may have yeah uh ongoing education and certifying organizations certified organizations and other people to to uh have conferences with and and kind continuing of education people. continuing education yeah all yeah. right well, all you have to do is, if you're interested, every, everyone here at Claproth Hypnotherapy is certified. We all have gone through hours of education, training, working with clients. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. What, what's the website there, Dave? the hypnotherapy solution.com we'll have a link down below please subscribe and like we'll make sure you go to the website click on book a session we'll be glad to have that consultation with you for free yeah free consultation 20 30 minutes completely confidential have a great day <laughs>